My name is Jennifer Lueck and I'm an assistant professor in health communication at Texas A&M University. I received my BA in communication studies from the University of Bonn in Germany, my MA in mass communication from the University of Southern Mississippi, and finally my PhD in mass communication from the University of Minnesota. So I study how mental illness affects cognitive processing or the interpretation of health messages. So using that knowledge then to inform more effective health messages, um, prompting positive health behaviors is what I focus on. So I actually grew up in Germany and my great grandmother was um, living um, in Nazi Germany and was telling me a lot of stories about her time there. So she was a perfect first case study of somebody who processes media messages or propaganda at the time um, at a very different speed and in a different way. She risked her own safety by hiding her Jewish friends and acquaintances in her own basement. And so growing up, I always wondered why did she respond to these propaganda messages in a different way and what happened there and why is that? So today I still carry that with me as I look more for differences in health message processing and then taking that information to inform um, further steps in health message design. So my research is driven by the question of why do some people respond to health messages differently than others and how can we use this difference to inform more effective health messages? So we have seen that mental illness among younger students and even young children is becoming an increasing problem for us and we don't know how to communicate with these populations. We also have seen some evidence that certain message strategies might actually backfire, which in the context of mental illness and suicide prevention is, is a huge problem. So we're trying to counteract that um, problem and find solutions to um, create more healthy outcomes. So there was a study done um, a few years ago that um, examined the effects of billboard PSAs trying to reduce suicides. And it actually resulted in um, students believing that suicide is a social norm for certain emotional problems, actually really cueing a very negative belief. And such beliefs are very difficult to remove and also counteract. So that was a very, um, a, detrimental effect of health messages that we need to seek to avoid. So I see my research providing answers to the question of why certain communication strategies don't work. That means in everyday life translated that we will have situations in where we're trying to get somebody to seek help. Or we're trying to get someone to stop using um, negative coping behaviors and it doesn't work we actually know why. We know why it might not work. We know that from psychology and communication and how these two interact. So I try to work with um, mental health services on campus to inform such messages and that we can all be better at communicating with those who are in need. Um, I very often emphasize the strategic communication aspect in my courses and really like to lead students to a path of where they can not only be consumers of health messages, but also producers of health messages. And in order to do that, uh, it's really interesting to test these theories in class because students can reflect on their own experiences but also really ask those big why questions and certainly ask about why certain messages work for them and others don't. So I try to make it a point of really telling my students that psychology is a very important factor in understanding health message effects, but also understanding the process. So one skill that I think students often leave with is just understanding that there's certain biases at place and we all come with certain beliefs and experiences that really shape the way we perceive even the most rational and straightforward information. And I think understanding that really carries over into other areas as well and having them understand that maybe my experience is very unique to me and there's reasons for that. Mm -hmm.